Well, I just talked to the guy with the air compressor or the air conditioning compressor. It's an air compressor um, for the SX4. I'm going to go meet him now. He's uh, going to meet me at a Starbucks. He gets these parts from out of town, so actually it works out pretty well for us. Crazy loud birds. So off I go there and then I'm going to head home see the girls. The success uh, in Canada, I, I would argue, has to do with them. I got my parts. That worked out great. So I'm $220 poorer, but I've got a new air compressor or air conditioning compressor and a new piece of trim for the one uh, wheel well. I haven't been able to find that, so I'm really happy this guy found that for me. And uh, when he charged me, he only charged me 25 bucks for it. Everywhere else I've been looking is uh, 40 for a used piece, and they haven't been able to get that one. So that's a big plus. I'm going to uh, see if I can get my uh, air conditioning pump or air conditioning pump on this week and get it charged up uh, later this week to make sure everything works. So tonight I'm going to replace the uh, bearing in the pump uh, because I have one. I may as well put it in, make sure that uh, I've got a brand new bearing. And yeah, do some work on that outboard motor. I'm pumped, this is good. I'm really happy about uh, getting uh, these parts. Well, I'm out in the garage and uh, this is my new used air conditioning pump. There's a few things I have to do to it. I want to take it apart and replace the bearing. Uh, and the reason for that is there's a little bit of play, but I also have another bearing. I was going to replace it I'm not going to go into detail on how to to do all this but suffice to say be careful when you're taking it apart because you could lose little pieces there's one of the little pieces you could lose Just a note about snap ring flyers. Wear safety glasses. These are mean little guys when they shoot out. A note about uh, snap rings. What I'm looking for is I'm looking for the numbers on here and comparing them to the um, numbers on the new bearing. And these bearings have the same numbers. So, same bearing. One's made in Japan. This other one, uh, if it doesn't say, it's probably China. It does have a maker's mark, but I don't know the makers, who they are. So. ATF K0 K08. So. I don't know who that is. Now I'm just going to pound this out. Die grinder. It's going to get loud in a minute. So with all that noise, that's something else. This is what I'm doing. You see the little tabs along here that are squished in. I'm grinding them out, making them flat so I can push the bearing out this way. 
No problem there. Hey! Uh, you never want to let this drop and hit the ground. If it does, throw that away. This didn't hit the ground that time. It's close. Cut it with my foot. It's going to get loud again. I'm using a socket to whack it through. Hit it a couple of times already. It's, it's moving. So that's good. I've just put this back on. There's no play anymore. It used to have a little bit of play side. side. It's gone now. So I can start putting this back together. It's going to get a little bit of the rust off this. I don't want to scratch at this too much because this is the clutch material. It's supposed to grab on this. It's a matter of tightening the bolt. Perfect. Can't hear anything when that thing spins. So that is uh, that's what we want. On to the next. Next is this water pump. Or water pump. <laughs> Take two. On to the next. Next is this fuel pump on my Johnson 7.5 horsepower. By taking a picture of it, it will help me put it back together properly. I don't think there's any instructions with this. No, there aren't. Kind of, kind of flying blind here. That could be the reason it's not running. That, uh, it's supposed to be flexible. So let's take a look at this uh, filter or er, pump. This is the part that attaches to the engine. It's uh, run by the compression or er, the compression. The compression and suction that the uh, engine provides makes or er, actuates the pump, it makes the pump pump. Well, that's done. This. Uh, should run tickety boo. I changed the uh, uh, carburetor kit last year and then uh, it ran fine until the end of the year and it died on me back in Wyerton. And I know it's not the carb kit because I was new. I suspected this and it was time. So, new water, or er, new water pump. Oh man, I keep saying air compressor for the. For the air conditioning pump, which is actually actually an air compressor, <laughs> and a water pump for the fuel pump. So that's a new fuel pump, and uh, yeah. Anyways, that's that's what I did today. <laughs> I'm gonna clean up here and call it a day. Thanks for watching. Please uh, click the clicky things. Remember to wear safety glasses when you're dealing with those little C-clip things. Or even the E-clips. Oh man, they're, they're something else too. You don't want to take one in the eye. So yeah, clicky things and tell your mom. Thanks a lot.